Now, former Auditor General Daniel Domelovo is calling for a cap on the amount paid as filing fees by aspiring elected public office holders. He believes the high cost of election campaign is one of the causes of public sector corruption. Speaking during the Domelovo Accountability Lectures organized by the Frederick Ibbett Stiftung uh, um, Foundation, he said the National Commission for Civic Education can create a common campaign platform for politicians so they are not compelled to spend more money. Investigative journalist Manasi Azuri Awuni was the guest speaker for the maiden edition of the Domelevo Accountability Lectures. He says collaboration can help anti-graft agencies deal with the menace of corruption. Unfortunately, there have been times that anti-corruption institutions and agencies have been used by the political class against one another. On June 2nd, 2021, an Accra High Court pronounced judgment on the Auditor General versus the Economic and Organized Crime Office case. The court held that Iyoko's so-called investigation of the Auditor General, Auditor General for alleged breach of procurement process in the acquisition of cars was ultra-virus, wrongful, illegal, arbitrary, and capricious. These are the ways of the court. And it is unfortunate that Iyoko would allow itself to be used against another anti-corruption institution. If states or public officials are to succeed in the fight against corruption, they should begin to work together. Two, collaboration with the media. It is also important to note that a public official who wishes to succeed in the fight against corruption should find credible journalists and media institutions to work with. Three, civil society collaboration. Public officials should also identify and collaborate with civil society groups that are into anti-corruption campaigns. These CEOs, CSOs may be useful in pushing for reforms and strengthening the hands of the public officials through advocacy. It was the former Auditor General Daniel Domelovo's second major speech after he was forced to retire from the audit service by the president. He did not mince words. And any other law. So we must all try to implement the laws, not to violate the laws with impunity. And when our attention is called, all we can say is go to court. It doesn't help. At the minimum, we should see the government, especially the presidency, at the forefront of complying with the laws. Because many or most of the laws of Ghana are sponsored by the executive to parliament and they are assented to by the president mm -hmm. before they become binding on us. So if it is they who are at the forefront of saying, if you don't agree, go to court, then it is quite disturbing. In fact, if someone should offend you and tell you to go to court, I think you should know what that means. I'll leave it to fellow Ghanaians. He says some employees of the audit service who helped him to raise issues of financial impropriety against the former senior minister, Yao Osafo Mafu, have been demoted, with one of them transferred to the central region. My heart bleeds and I weep for audit service. Since the day that the president forced me on leave and finally said I should go on compulsory retirement, I must say that all the people who were associated or identified to have a role to play in the audit of the Ministry of Finance, which resulted in the senior minister's issue or that of Crow and Associates, have all had their share. The Deputy Auditor General, who was in charge of Central Government Audit, which is the Ministry's audit, is today sent to Ministry of Finance as a director more or less he has been brought two steps lower to go and report to the directors or the chief directors and the minister who his audit uh, had problem with the assistant auditor general 
who led the audit mm -hmm. has been transferred mm -hmm. into the writings. In fact, even the lawyer who led the case in court, the director of legal service, has been transferred as we speak to Cape Coast. He is now a district director in Cape Coast. <laughs> <laughs> and the idea, the argument is that he applied to audit service and started as an auditor before becoming a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So he should go back and do audit <laughs> instead of being a lawyer. But a, a system, what type of system is this? Daniel Domelovu says the cost of elections is a cause of Ghana's corruption woes. It's the cost of taking public office. Those who are who occupy public office or elected office, it costs them too much. The cost of the politician coming to an office is so much that they borrow money, at times they use their own money to finance this, and these guys are not philanthropists. They will have to recoup whatever investment or money they put into coming into office, and they recoup it with interest. And again, they have to recoup it, say that they have surplus for the next uh, election or the next event. Maxwell Akbagba with that report.